Bree just mentioned it, but from your point of view, what was kind of, uh, what did you think of the at-bats that your players were taking? Um, you know, not, I, I, I believe we could have adjusted. Bottom line, you know, she threw a good screwball. We've seen good screwballs. Um, credit her that she was effective. I think, you know, we tried to hone in and tried to get better pitches to swing at, and it seemed like the zone got a little bit wider on those first pitches at the end, which kind of forced us to swing at some pitches we may have not wanted to. But at the end of the day, um, we need to adjust. And we did. To be able to put, you know, to get on the board and not give up is a sign of what great teams do. Um, but she was effective today. Um, you know, we didn't have enough quality at bats to be able to put together to put up enough of a fight, and we dug ourselves a hole there that was uh, a pretty big one to climb out of. But um, bottom line, bat at bats across the board could have been better, period. Uh, Tara Henry, D1 softball. Uh, Delaney Wiz is two-run bomb. What, it, what does that say for the team? Is that something that you carry into tomorrow uh, for the uh, elimination game tomorrow? Oh, huge. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's awesome to be able to see Laney do what she does. You know, Kinsley, finding a way to get on base, and Laney coming up big in big moments. And those are the things that we hold on to are we've got to be able to play our game and get back to doing the things that we do. And we got to see a piece of that, you know, the ability for Kinsley to find a way to get on. And then Laney, you know, no one's throwing pitches over the plate to Laney Wiz because she's just done so much damage. But for her to do that on the stage, um, I think says great things about our ability to play our game. So got to get everybody dialed in, but that is a huge, huge momentum. And that's what I told the team, you know, we didn't quit. I think that's something that is important that we didn't quit. We, we continue to try to fight and find a way to be able to close the gap. And uh, yeah, so that was a huge at bat at UCLA softball. Laney's done it for us all year and I love that she's doing it here on the stage. What did you think of your pitching staff specifically, Megan and Holly, they were kind of having their first major appearances on the World Series stage? Um, it's the game. You know, I think we could say time, place, all of that. You know, I just, I believe that we obviously could be better at the end of the day. Um, I think that every team here has found a way to get here and is playing great ball. Um, I believe in my pitching staff. I, you know, I've got to go back and look at film to be able to see. But I, once again, I think I credit Texas more than I say that we just fell apart. When you see pitchers fall apart, they're walking people, hitting people, and getting behind in the count. And, and we attack the zone. It's what we do. So credit the ability for the opponent to be able to execute. And I'll go back and look at film and see just how many pitches we actually missed. Um, but it's the game. That's, all, that's what we're here. And I, I felt that my team is in a good place to be able to play the game. Um, we didn't execute today. It happens to be in June. It's a bad time for that. But the double elimination bracket allows us to come back. And like the girl said, it's not what happened today. It's what we do next. And we have the opportunity to play our game. And that's, that's the focus right now is just get to the next pitch.